So I'm running, I'm running. I reach a point where obviously Lana's 10 years younger than me. Her body is not as compromised as mine. Oh, no. And I tell Lana, just go. Go oh. ahead of me. What, what, bro, what, what do you mean, oh? Oh, my God. We're just doing a whole adrenaline speech. And when it's your kids involved, now you're taking a knee and, and telling your wife you got pom-poms on? Go, you got it, Lana. Go, 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 Lana. Holy shit. Bro, I, 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 I looked at this as a, an almost uh, a relay race. Right. Where I, I took us to one point. <laughs> And now you got to take us the rest of the <laughs> way. Point nothing. You act like you fought off a dragon to get to where you guys were. You came out of the gate way too hard. And, I mean, so. Bro, my when, <laughs> oh, my, oh, shit. Oh, so when, when you said, when you said to go on ahead of me, like, did you take a second knee at that point? <laughs> while while I said it, I was bent over, and, and I and I think it was just I didn't even look at it. I just said, "Just go, <laughs> just go." Now she's on the Ramadan diet too, though, right? Yeah, she's right. on Ramadan, all right. But she, she paced it out nice. Yeah, where she had where she had energy. Now, yeah, God. she's she goes ahead of me. I uh, start picking it back up again. She uh, is now out of sight. Oh, I can't even. Jesus. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I <laughs> But you, I, I'm sitting here going, holy uh, shit. I got to get into shape. Uh, this is ridiculous. For, <laughs> I can't even save my own family. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot dangle any more motivation in front of you to fucking get up and run than this. By the way, you're getting to the point now where you're so far behind. By the time you get there, they're going to be gone. Then she's got to do that go back in for you, right? I mean, holy <laughs> shit. You're better off just staying out of this shit at this point. <sighs> well, here's what was going through my head as I was going up. Yeah. I'm, you know, it's one of those stories you see on the news where Lana and the kids and the nanny are safe, and then the camera pans back to the flames, and Lana goes, "He, the last I saw him, he just said, go ahead. Uh, 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 uh. No. So, wow. I, yeah, it was one uh, of those things where I was, I was like, oh, am I going to be the guy uh, uh. who... You know, the, the story's going to be he had a bad knee, he was on a fast, and it yeah. looks like he just couldn't go and got eaten up by the flames. So, yeah, man. A, a, as I'm running up the hill, I see on the ground a half a bottle of Fiji water that Lana had had <laughs> and had dropped <laughs> for me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's, it's like a Sherpa leaving an oxygen tank. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Holy shit. How, how considerate saving her own children and leaving water for her crippled husband. Wow. Oh, man. 